Hey guys, in this video I'm going to talk about similar triangles. Um, there are three main tests you can use to prove that triangles are similar and they are angle, 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 side, angle, side and side, side, side. So let's talk about what this these mean. So angle, angle, angle means if, there, if you've got two triangles and all of the angles are equal, you know that the triangles are either congruent or they are similar. Um, Actually, you don't actually need three angles. If two angles are equal, then you know the third one must be the same. So really, this could be AA, but it's usually written as, as AAA, angle, angle, angle. Um, so the angles the angles are equal, then those triangles are similar. The second test is side, angle, side. So if you've got, um, if you know the, the lengths of two sides, say, let's look at these triangles. So let's have 10 and five, and this one was five and 2.5 and you need to know the angle in between those sides not these angles because they're not in between them but but this side here between these two sides if you know this angle and you know that's equal and these sides are in the same ratio so 10 over 5 needs to be the same as 5 over 2.5 if they're in the same ratio then you know those two triangles are similar the third test for similarity is side, side, side. So if you know all three sides of the triangle, then you know that, and they're, they're all in the same ratio, then you know those two triangles must be similar. Uh, so they're the three tests. You either need to know two of the angles of each triangle, uh, two of the sides and the angle in between those sides, or all three sides of each triangle to prove that they're similar. So let's have a look at an example. We've got... Here we've got a diagram of a triangle and a smaller triangle inside it. And the, the question says, lines A, B, C and E, D, C are straight lines. So A, B, C is that one, E, D, C is that one. E, A is parallel to D, B. That's what those little triangles mean. Those two lines are parallel. And E, C, and it gives you some lengths here. So E, C, this long line here is 8.1 centimetres. DC is 5.4 centimeters. DB is 2.6 centimeters. And AC is 6.15 centimeters. Okay, okay, we've got all those drawn in. That's all the way along. Okay, the first question says work out the length of AE. So that is this length here. So I'm going to call that X for now, just so I know which one I'm looking for. So I'm looking for the length AE, uh, and I've, I know I've got two triangles here. And the first thing I'm going to see is test for similarity. So uh, what, which test do you think I could use for similarity here? I the, Remember the three tests, that angle, 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 side angle side or side 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 now i know two sides of this triangle and two sides of the bigger triangle but i don't know any angles specifically or do i i know this angle is the same between the two triangles and because these lines are parallel these lines these angles must also be the same and that's called, um, cor and they're called corresponding angles um, in parallel lines. So the rule that we can use is angle, angle, angle. If all angles are equal, then these triangles must be similar. So the first thing we would say is uh, triangle A, A, C, E, and triangle B, C, D are similar are similar and then give the reason angle 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 so here I'm looking for side AE and I know these two triangles are similar so the thing about similar triangles is, is that one is an enlargement of the other that, so therefore you can find a scale factor so the scale factor between these two triangles I can figure out by comparing this longer side EC to this smaller side DC and what that's going to tell me is how much I multiplied 5.4 by to get to 8.1. Basically, it's going to tell me how much I've enlarged this side by. 
this side here to get this longer side EC. If I can figure out how much that side DC has enlarged by, I can figure out how much DB has enlarged by to figure out AE. And because they're similar, all the sides will be enlarged by the same amount. Okay, so to work out the scale factor, we can divide the longer side by the shorter side. 8.1 divided by 5.4, that's exactly the same thing as dividing 81 by 54. Now I know the, now I know both of these are multiples of 9, so 81 divided by 9 is 9, and 54 divided by 9 is 6, and then I can cancel the 3's, so that's going to be 3 and 2, and that's going to equal 1.5. So I know my scale factor is 1.5. So to work out AE, I need to multiply this side DB by 1.5. So I can so the operation I need to do is 2.6 times 1.5 to work out AE. Uh, so AE is going to equal 2.6 times 1.5, and you could do that. This is this would usually come up in a calculator paper, so this is probably going to be a calculator question, and you can put that into your calculator, and you will get 3.9 centimeters. So that's your your um, answer for A. Then part B is asking us to work out the length of AB, and that's that little one up here. So let's now call let's relabel this. We can say that's 3. Point nine centimeters and now let's label this X all right now keep in mind the 6.15 with this was this whole length here so I know that big length I don't know the smaller length and that's what I'm going to figure out first before I go on to figure out AB so the way that I think I can solve this is I can find BC and take that away from AC the way I can find BC is actually dividing this number by the scale factor. So if I divide that by the scale factor, that's going to tell us what BC is. So let's do that, 6.15. So BC is going to be 6.15 divided by 1.5. And I'm going to be really lazy, use my calculator for that. And that will give me 4.1. Okay, so I know BC equals 4.1 to find A, what was the length of that side again? AB, to find AB, I need to do the long side minus the shorter side, 0.05 centimeters. Okay, so we've got our two answers, 3.9 and 2.05 centimeters. It's not always completely obvious that you need to use similar triangles um, but usually I mean the the hints in this question let's just erase everything for a minute let's just talk about the hints in this question that you needed similar triangles you're only given lengths you're not given any angles it's not a right angle triangle and you're asked to find missing lengths um, usually to find a missing length but when you're given two triangles in a diagram, you're going to have to use similar triangles. I hope that's been helpful. Um, please let me know what you thought, and I'll see you next time. Bye.